All right, in this video, I'd like to talk about uh, markup problems and markdown problems. So, to get things started, um, I just want to talk about say we have um, say we have an item that cost a uh, hundred dollars. All right, and let's say that there's a uh, that's the wholesale price that a store pays for whatever item, and then they apply say a ten percent markup on that hundred dollars what would be the selling price right for the for the item well uh, we would need to know what ten percent of a hundred dollars is right so you go to the side and you say ten percent of a hundred dollars gives you ten bucks right and so the markup on this item is ten dollars so therefore the selling price would be a hundred plus the 10, which gives you $110. All right, so for markup, you take the wholesale uh, price of the item and then calculate the, uh, the markup. And the markup is always a percentage of the wholesale price. And then you add those two numbers together, and that gives you the selling price of the item that you know, what actually you and I pay for at the store when we go buy something, right? Um, and then markdown price would be stuff that goes on sale. So say the original price was $100 again, right? And uh, this time it's it's uh, been marked down uh, 10%, right? So this time we would subtract the $10, right? Because again, it's 0.1 times 100 gives you the $10, that's the 10%. And then that would give you the $90, which is what the on sale price is. Right. Everybody see that? So mark up, we're adding to the wholesale price, and for mark down, we're subtracting from the from the selling price. Those are just the basic ideas uh, with with you know nice numbers. So now let's generalize this up. Okay. So markup. Markup is the wholesale price plus the markup, and that total is equal to the selling price. And to calculate the markup, markup is the percent markup, that's like the 10%, you know, or 35% markup, whatever the case may be. It's the percent markup times the wholesale price. That'll give you a number, right? And then take that number and you add it to the wholesale price, and that's what gives you the selling price. That, that's the concept. Make sure you understand the concept, and then there's not much, you know, you have to memorize. All right, so for markdown, we have the regular price, and we want to subtract the markdown, and that gives us, that gives us the sale price, right? So when things go on sale. And to calculate that markdown, we have a per, the percent of the markdown times that regular price that gives you the, the actual markdown of the item. All right? Okay, so those are the concepts. I want to do a couple of examples, and uh, that's it. So here we go. All right, first example. After a 25% markup, the selling price of an item is $78.99. Find the wholesale price of the item. So always begin by defining your variables. All right, so we let X be the wholesale price. And then um, this is a markup, right? We're 25% markup. So we have the wholesale price X plus the percent markup, which is 25. 25%, so change that to a decimal, 0 0.25, times the wholesale price. Well, that's X again. So there's the percent markup times the wholesale price. And that right there, 0.25X, is called the markup. And that is equal to the selling price of 78.99, 78.99, and then you have an equation that's you have a linear equation that you can actually solve, you know, for x using the previous techniques, All right? So this is 1.25x equals 78.99 divide both sides by 1.25, and you get 63.19. So, $63.19 would be the wholesale price. That's what it cost the, the uh, company to purchase the item. And then they did a 25% markup on it and then charged it to you and to me, uh, $78.99. All right, got the idea? All right, let's try one more. All right, mark down. An item is marked down 20%. 
Sale price is $143.49. So it's on sale for $143.49. All right, so what was the original price? So again, define your variable. All right, and then how do we get our equation? Well, you have the original price, x, minus the markdown, and the markdown is 20%, so 0.2, times the original price, which is x again, and that equals the sale price, which is 143.49. And that's how we get our little equation to solve, right? So we have x minus 0.2x, which is 0.8x, equals 143.49. Divide both sides by 0.8, and you get 179 dollars and 36 cents. All right. So it was originally selling for $179.36, there was a 20% markdown, and so now it's on sale for $143.49. With me? All right. Uh, all right, those are the ideas. So depending on the questions being asked, you could be looking for the original price, like we were here, or you could be looking for the sale price, or you could be looking for the wholesale price, or you could be looking for the markup or the markdown, uh, or you could even be looking for the percent markup and the percent markdown. Right, so um, any of those things uh, could be you could be asked to, to find, but it all boils down to understanding these two ideas of markup and markdown. All right, all right, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.